The desire to interpret our dreams is basically as old as time. We can go all the way back to the ancient Egyptians and Greeks and see them wrestling with their dreams and what they believed were messages from the gods. Flash forward a few thousand years and maybe there's some geeky blonde guy who dreams all the time that he is at his graduation and forgot to put on pants and wondering if that has any meaning. Because we dream every night, even if we remember it or not, it's natural to wonder if our dreams have meaning. But let's actually start off with a more foundational question, which is, why do we dream at all? To weigh in on all of this, I recruited two brain sciences professors at the University of Louisville. We take a kind of a, a bottom-up approach to thinking about dreams. We have rodents to thank for a lot of our understanding of dreams today. For example, in one study, researchers observed the brain activity of mice as they ran through a maze, noting which parts of the brain fired throughout. The researchers kept monitoring brain activity afterward as the mice fell asleep. And what they noticed is the same brain cells started firing in the same order, but they were firing 10 times faster, essentially just rerunning the maze in their minds in record time. This is how our brain takes a short-term memory from our day and turns it into a long-term memory. Dreams are really the replaying of the day's events. They really get solidified into long-term memory. The thought is, well, what the brain does is it, re it practices. It re-experiences the events of the day hundreds of times. Okay, so now a couple follow-up questions. First, if my dreams are just memories being stored, then why do I dream things that didn't happen in real life? Like going to my graduation without my pants on. Well, when your mind files your memories away during dreams, it links them with other things in your memory. That's what makes them stick around longer. For something to happen in your dream, you have to have thought about it when you were awake. But things like conversations you have, music you listen to, movies you see, those can all be fair game for your dreams. And now the real follow-up question, Given what we scientifically know about dreams now, does it still make sense to search for deeper meanings within them? That's actually more controversial. The brain scientists I spoke to said that searching for specific meanings and symbols within your dreams is not really backed up by the research. However, the general tones of our dreams can give us a glimpse into our underlying moods and anxieties, and recognizing that can be very valuable. If you haven't faced something, but it's still coming up during sleep, you're dreaming about it, maybe you need to take a look at what that actually means. Thanks for checking out What's Up. If you wanna see more videos like this one, click on the links over here, or if you have an idea for me, send it to me at the links down here.